And we come back to Dark and Random Aspect 3. Yo. Last time we did a whole lot of running around chasing the mysterious Antelim. And now we're gonna keep tracking them down. Hopefully getting some closure to this little war cry mark. Yeah. Ugh. Too many war crimes. This isn't Rimworld. <laughs> yeah. What did it say? Anos Basin? I think it said Anos Basin. <laughs> Let me double check where it says. <laughs> Mine will be a false. Just says search, search the Anos Basin. So well, we are in the right place. Good to know that the Solarians are very creative with their star system names. Oh, that's a Big. Big ass fucking star. Diamond belt in the end. Yes, that is quite a massive star. So it must be out here somewhere. Perhaps. I found something. Hmm. Unidentified hey, station I detected. Station. Well, what is that supposed to mean? Like I would know. I don't know either, that's why I'm looking. You still am just that just Jack has it on entry there. Well yeah. It's Jack. Mm-hmm. Not Krogan. Uh, was there something in the terminal system? Yeah, but it won't be that. Uh, okay. Because that Jack was training. No. 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 I have no idea what that was. Uh, check the journal, maybe. Uh, it's gone. Um. Was that it? Uh, Wait. I guess. I guess had something here. Because it opened straight up to this. No, that's terrifying. That's no good. Hmm. No? Hmm. 
I'm not sure. I think there's an email or something. That's a good. That's a good idea. Because we did get both of those questions through mail, I think. Ah! Wrong terminal. Oh, I was up on top of the fucking galaxy map. <laughs> Nothing here. That was. Mm. Ah, here we go. It's conspirator revealed. We've had a breakthrough. We were contacted by Vice Daltras Husaru of Manavai, and she's given us the evidence we need to make an arrest. Her documentation points to Talon at Dalatras Nara, head of the second most powerful bloodline in the Salarian Union. The power wielded by the bloodline makes this scenario very troubling. They've already threatened rebellion if ships are used to defend non-Salarian space, and refuse to recognize Talat as Circassia's capital. Linrun's regime is weakening, which is likely what made N Nara so bold. We must tread carefully when arresting the Dalatras. A wrong move could ignite the spark of civil war across the Anos Basin. I will consult with the Council on STG before we risk taking her into custody. For now, it's imperative that this remains classified. I need you to infiltrate Beto Station, find out the truth of what is happening so that we can make our case ironclad. As a specter, how you handle the situation is your prerogative. Okay. And uh, now we have that, I guess. Yep. Beto Station. Yep. Not here. Oh, wait. Mm -hmm. Why is it labeling it Antolin? Uh -huh. That is very confusing. Okay. In the Antolin system, this is apparently the Antolin system now. So just search mm. around, I guess. Leave and come back. Hmm. more than a little annoying. Signal confirmed. Oh, now it does something. Mm. I guess I had to just update it. I guess. <clears throat> the Normandy approaches Beto Station, but it's strangely silent. No hails, no activity, even the energy surges you used to find find a base have va vanished. You feel tense, something has happened here, an unknown quantity. Using her cyber warfare suite, Edie hacks open the hangar and, and your shuttle docks. Several fighters have been rendered inoperable by thermal detonation. Salarians are scattered across the hangar, their green blood slick on the tiled floor. They're all dead. It was recent. A shot rings out. A fierce gunfight can be heard in the distance. As you move toward it, you pass through corridors lined with exotic plants and extravagant features. It's clear that Dalatra spent no, spared no expense when commissioning this facility. As you open the door, you stumble onto a battlefield. Armed Solarians are taking cover behind makeshift barricades, shooting at a score of unknown aggressors. They're humanoids wearing identical hard suits and tech armor, with a, and with a mo movements that are unnaturally precise. You decide to interfere. Do you decide with the Solarians you came here to stop? Or with an aggressor whose loyalties and identity is unknown. Hmm. 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 question, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Um, a 
ataque de salaria. Ok. The mission uh, must come first. With no alternative in sight, you're forced to open fire on the Salarians. After a fleeting yet deadly skirmish, only two survive and they flee down a nearby corridor. The threat is far from over as the al unknown aliens watch you with weapons raised. They do not twitch, nor even breathe from what you can see. One of them speaks. Why did you interfere? Its voice surprises you with its hollowness. The tone is synthetic, yet the words carry an organic inflection. You examine them closer. What you thought were hard suits are an ablative shell protecting a construct body. They're mechs, and possibly so much more. Following a hunch, you explain your purpose on the station. They cautiously approach, but their skepticism is clear, until you explain that your crew rescued Ambassador Saigon. This news is gladly received, and they finally lowered their guns. After some unintelligible deliberation amongst themselves, they confirm they're the virtual aliens and explain the situation. The Salarians are forcing them into empty mech shells, rewriting their code to imbue them with military tactics and loyalty. This abominable act is matched by their efforts to strip the Ark of its technology, threatening the organic rebirth of their species. Somehow they escaped and have thrown off the shackles of bondage. Uh, these virtual aliens are fighting for the survival of their people. They plead for help. What do you do? Storm the CIC or free the Ark? I'm pretty sure helping them comes first. Free the Ark. <clears throat> you inform the virtual aliens that you will assault the hangar bay to free their Ark. Their relief that you're a friend is palpable, but they decide they must remove the threat at its source. As a gesture of goodwill, one alien volunteers its name. Kylan, and you return to gesture. <coughs> Upon entering the hangar, you agree by the sight of the Ark of Antolin and marvel at its construction. It's cone-shaped with a size comparable to a heavy cruiser, and four great engines arc back from the central core. There's an ancient grace to the design, but it bears many scars from its 8,000-year odyssey across the stars. Station security arrive, breaking your momentary reverence and forcing you into cover. Mass accelerated slugs thunder past, several cracking against your shield. While blind firing response, you have enough idea. Uh, you, you bring enough pressure to bear to force them to hide. James claims to have an idea. It's a little loco, but if it works, you'll get, have an edge. <laughs> With the reinforcements arriving, you're given no choice but to agree. James sprints for hangar control while the rest of your team bludgeons the enemy position. A siren blares out, and confusion ripples through the enemy. Over comms, James orders you to magnetize your boots and grab hold of something. The shield drops and the hangar bay is suddenly exposed to vacuum. Air tears through like a hurricane, carrying debris and unlucky Salarians out into the void. The arc strains against its docking clamps, creaking in the thinning air but they hold firm. When the shield returns, you exit cover and hold up the very few surviving guards. They surrender. <clears throat> Kylan chimes in over the comms. The scientists in the CIC have surrendered to them and are pleading for sanctuary. <clears throat> they claim they were forced into the experiment against their will, but they took their risk to f free the virtual aliens. Their actions are all that prevented them from being converted into a billion-strong slave army for use by the Salarian colony of Manavai. Kylan seems willing to allow sanctuary, but you aren't so sure. Are the Salarian vic victims that deserve safety, or are they war criminals? Um, Santo de Brasil. Desperate times, huh? Also, you know, the fact that Kylan claims the... Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Beta Station Scientists. Virtual Alien Immortals. That's a cool one. <laughs> Salarian Researchers. Okay, let's check that out, because that just sounds cool. Crucible. Salarian Researchers. And among these are some of the greatest Xenoarchaeologists in the Salarian Union. Imagine that. Hmm. Oh, keep forgetting which button to push there. Virtual Alien Immortals. The virtual aliens that were uploaded into mech bodies have joined the war effort, citing the need to repay Shepard for freeing the Ark of Antolin. Before leaving the Ark, these immortals return to their virtual world to dedicate themselves for virtual decades to the art of war. During this brief real-world period, they mastered the techniques and tactics they observed during the Battle of Be for Beto Station, primarily those demonstrated by the crew of the Normandy. These virtual warriors now fight with the skill and precision of career soldiers, 
but it's their superior use of tactics that has most benefited the special forces fighting at their side. Cool. Hmm. They're wa cool. not worth a whole lot, but it's something. Yeah. And every little bit helps. Yep. Well then, is there anything else we can take care of right now? Uh, Vold Nahur Antita. I don't even know where Antita is. Um. And that's salvage. <laughs> don't even know where that would be. Uh, I can go look for that. Good. I think that's the only thing we can do right now. After that, it's priority to Chunka. Might as well. That was a cool little, uh. Yeah. Yeah. Kudos to, to the mod writer. Mm hmm. Doing, uh, the expanded universe justice. Yep. Very much so. Only way it could be made better is if you could actually make that into a combat mission that you could play. Yeah, that'd be a bit more difficult, though. It'd be difficult, but it'd be fucking awesome. Oh, yeah, of course. Virtual alien squad mate win. <laughs> uh, pr no, not leave orbit, you dipshit. Doc, Alliance Doc. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. I Do just hit a button. Transport? Didn't I? I'll handle it. I did. Yes, Commander. I think it's kind of cool that they put a female Turian there. Hmm. I don't think there are hardly any female Turians in this game until like the Citadel DLC. I could be wrong. Could be right. Never know. Uh. But the traffic control officer was always has always been a human. Mm hmm. City and Commons. I know exactly where this sucker is. If he's there. Should be this guy. Hmm. Let me double check, make sure I don't have to wait till the next story beat. Oh, wait. It is this guy. We just don't have the heating unit stabilizers. I'm just fucking retarded. GG. Also, this conversation here that we passed by, I'm not gonna stick around mm -hmm. to listen to it, but basically, uh, the civilian talks to the Volus, and, uh, he comments about uh, wishing he thought of, uh, how profitable refugee camps could be, like, creating your own, cre creating prefabs and stuff for refugee camps. And she's sitting, and she tries to get on him for uh, uh, war profiteering, and he makes a comment. Have you heard of Elcos Combine? Yeah, don't they make like everything? Roop Elcos, a pleasure. So you know the CEO. <laughs> it's like no wonder he's thinking about the money. Okay, it's, then. Uh, it's a bit of data. Yeah. Well, only got one thing left to do. Mm -hmm. Priority, Tachunka. That is not the way to Tachunka. <coughs> Listen, I'm only mildly fucking retarded. It's fine, it's fine. Krogan DMZ. <laughs> Uh, 
Alright. This is gonna be fun. Gonna be fun. Joker, what have you got? Sensors show a Reaper parked at the Shroud facility. No way you're gonna be able to land a shuttle there. Get everyone assembled in the war room. I want eyes on the Shroud. Aye, aye, sir. New form of Reaper, Shepard. Using Shroud to poison Tuchaka's atmosphere. Problematic. They want to fight! They just got one. Primark, we're gonna need your help. That could be difficult. Our losses on Paladin have been catastrophic. We're doing this for Paladin. No one said it would be easy. What do you have in mind? A combined attack. Your people hit the Reaper with an airstrike. Rex, at the same time, your soldiers will be attacking from the ground. Together, you can draw it away from the tower. Yes, distraction. Small team can reach Shroud facility, finish synthesizing cure. We'll need Eve to come with us. We've never faced a Reaper up close like this. Everyone on board? There's even a doubt? Let's move, Pijak. It's time to cure the Genophage. <laughs> Oh boy. Dalatrus? Commander Shepard, we know you've reached Tuchanka. And by now, I imagine Morden Solus has proposed using the Shroud. Are you spying on us? Hardly. The Shroud is the only viable course of action open to you. Commander, you can't allow your misguided sympathy for the Krogan to cloud your judgment. Do you honestly believe curing the Genophage will end in lasting peace? I mean, with Rex around? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> we have to give the Krogan that chance. You can't condemn an entire race to extinction based on what might happen. What will happen is the Krogan will reproduce out of control. We uplifted them specifically for their violent nature, not their diplomatic skills. Another war is inevitable. What do you want, Dalatras? Years ago, our operatives sabotaged the Shroud facility to ensure what you were planning couldn't be done. Morden will likely detect this malfunction and repair it. But if you ensure that he doesn't, then the cure's viability will be altered just enough so that it fails. No one will notice the change. You mean trick the crow? They need not be any the wiser. Let Erdnot Rex believe you fulfilled your promise. Morden would never stand for that. How you deal with him is up to you, Commander. We can provide you our very best scientists to build the Crucible, and the full support of our fleets. If I sabotage the cure. Think about it, Commander. The choice is yours. I think that's even a choice. Seriously. <laughs> See, if... Uh... Rex were dead, and Eve, uh, and, um, either, and we didn't keep the cure data from the from the second game, which means Eve wouldn't survive the uh, uh, creating the cure. Then we could convince convince Morden that that's the right course of action, because Reeve will actually want war, and without Eve around to tell him no. Yeah. yeah, that's different. But we've got Rex and Eve, so the Krogan are going to sit down and shut the fuck up. Yep. And we'll bring Garrus, because Garrus is Garrus. <laughs> Fair enough. Are we going to bring one person? No, uh, we're also bringing Javik. Ah, uh, I didn't say it for some reason. I'll hold on my points for now. Okay. I've ordered the clans to assemble at the Hollows. It's our sacred meeting ground. We'll land there and take an armored convoy against the Reaper. This will be the defining moment of Krogan history. Krogan history filled with defining moments. Most bloody. Hope this one better. 
Commander, you seem troubled. I got a message from the... Rex, it's Reeve. The Reapers are already at the hollows. Come out with guns blazing. Hang on tight. We're heading in. Get out now, did you? Oh, it seems. Female safe, Shepard. Vitals are strong. What's a Solarian doing here? Nobody said anything about this. Multiple Krogan. Problematic. Who are you? Erd not Reed, brood brother to our illustrious leader. <laughs> Reeve and I share the same mother and nothing else. For which I'm thankful. I remember what it means to be a true Krogan. We flay our enemies alive and drown them in a geyser of their own blood. We don't invite them into our home. There's no time for this. Whatever grudge you have against Salarians ends right now. As long as it involves a bullet in his head, time for some payback. <laughs> Stand down. That's one way to motivate him. Yeah. There's a big monster and it needs its ass kicked. <laughs> yeah, that's one way to put it, yes. Copy that, Artemek. We're on our way, trying to make up lost time. Shepard up. Reed isn't the only Krogan who wants revenge for the Genophage, Rex. You'll have to placate them somehow. I'll demand the Council return some of our old territory. We'll need room to expand. Recapture the glory of the ancients. Glory of ancients led to Krogan Rebellion. Countless deaths. Creation of Genophage. Expansion plan problematic. What were the ancient Krogan like? Tachanka wasn't always a wasteland. In the old times, the Krogan were a proud people. We had dreams, a future to look forward to. Until Solarian interfered. No, we destroyed Tachanka ourselves. Technology changed us. It made life too easy. So we looked for new challenges and found them in each other. Nuclear war was inevitable. But now our planet is rubble. We'll need a better place to live. 
I'd say helping defeat the Reapers would be worth a new planet. Or ten? You haven't seen how fast we can pop them out. Rex. <laughs> what? With the Genophage cure, we'll have a lot of catching up to do. <laughs> Commander, on the shuttle, was there something you were going to say? The Galatras tried to cut a secret deal with me. What kind of deal? She said they sabotaged the Shroud years ago. The cure won't work unless we fix it. Years ago, our operatives sabotaged the Shroud facility to ensure what you're planning couldn't be done. And she thought we wouldn't know better? Correctly. Would likely have fooled tests. But familiar with STG work, can adjust. Did not come this far for nothing. You just spared our race another genocide, Commander. I told you we could count on him. Ah, uh, this What is it this time? Rex, you and Morton stay with Eve. It's looking ugly out here. Oh, no. I guess the Reapers when it went in first. Basically. At least that's what it seems like. What, is uh, it? what does it look like? That looks like Red Metal, right? I don't know I'm coming. Yeah. Never seen this guy. That's fine. Whatever you shoot with it belongs to me. <laughs> and remember to bring it back when you're done. I like his comment. He's like, that's mine. Whatever you shoot with it belongs to me. Man. Okay. This combustion manifold isn't going to last long. Let's get moving. What's the holdup? Roads out. The convoy can't make it through. Turian Wing Artemek, this is Shepard. We've been delayed. Hold off your attack. Negative, Commander. Our approach is locked. An airstrike isn't enough against the river. We must join the fight. Damn it. I don't care if we have to build a new road. We're going. Commander! I've lost control. I can't pull up. Don't worry about giving the shotgun back. Yeah. I hope you like ancient ruins. Is everyone okay? Yeah, sure. I want you to stop and think about something. The ground shaking. Mm hmm I mean, there is a ripper nearby after all. There it is again. That didn't feel like a tremor to me. Rex, are you guys 
Oh. Oh no, that's not the Reaper. <laughs> Codex! Oh Thresher no! Maws. Oh, so it's not even just any Thresher Maw. That's how we're going to put it. You know you're in trouble. They don't think you're yeah. ever going to kill it. Which means we're going to kill it. Galros, I would guess. Impressive. I sure hope that's to scale anything around. Ah. Uh, come on, Garrus, where's your sense of adventure? Yeah, we've killed the bigger. Not really. Well, bigger than the scale in the painting. Yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, well, you know, because you say, you see, how it's well, on scale. On scale. Uh, what? There are bound to be more than just the ones we killed. Rex, we've got Rack now here. Keep an eye out. I know. The few of them just attacked us. All that matters is getting to that shroud. And the infested dragon, I thought. Well, Reaper augmented. Look, light! Exactly. You know, it's a weird world when you can say infested and it applies to robotic things, huh? Yeah. I love the dynamic Javik adds to everything. Mm hmm. Anyway. Wouldn't his own also technically count as a failed species? Let's not comment on that. <laughs> Rex, we made it back outside. Well, if you can see sunlight, that's progress. Angry? I didn't think plants grew here anymore. You're looking at hope. All that's left of it onto Chakra. This is once a world full of beauty. Given a chance, it can be again. Shepard, that Reaper is still up to no good at the Shroud. Find a way out of there and we'll pick you up. I have to admit, I like uh, Reeves' line a little better. Vengeance will be mine. <laughs> Uh, instead of saying if you see sunlight, you're you're on the right track. Uh, Reeve is just if you can see the radioactive haze, you're on the right path. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look up for a moment. Yeah, I mean, we can technically see sunlight I just barely. Arlac certainly doesn't let you miss it. Yeah. That was almost like, oh boy, here I go killing again. <laughs> oh boy, here I go killing again. Yeah, that. Where's the, oh, there's the other aperture. It's over there. It was over there. <clears throat> another quake. That's another one. There was another Oh, don't worry, there's plenty more. Shoot that instead. Hit them. Alright, they they be right my bots or whatever. Mm-hmm. No shit! Cannibals are easy to deal with. They're predictable. You drop a corpse nearby them, they'll go for it. Not what I intended to do, but it'll work. Yeah. Kill a bit and I thought the ability share a cooldown. The enemy is dead for the moment. I suppose that if they didn't, then the equipment weight wouldn't be that much of an issue. 
Oh, you know, after sending you stored whatever. What's happening? But they would tell what it is. Oh boy, crazy ideas. Ow. Ow. Hey, try not to die. There's two of them and they're both focusing on me. Second. You know, all you have to do is talk as soon as they start shooting, right? No, it's like that. I have shields. I had shields. You had shields. <laughs> Ding. Got another miss to my that? tally. Ding. Sorry, it took a moment because I wasn't sure. Get down here when you get to the shroud. We'll do. Wait, tell us. We just jump onto the ship. Never mind. She's not gonna get us. It's just like, oh, never mind. <laughs> Metal and truck, excellent yeah, iron supplement. Now, where do you suppose we are? A memorial of some kind. These Krogans seem to have only one talent destruction, even of their own home. The general stage was a necessity. Good old Javik. Pessimist or realist? Um, I don't know, that line is really blurry. It often is. When did I switch to fucking sniper rifle? Oh. Actually, I know. Okay. So it's the one who's been watching, but just didn't pay attention. <laughs> This is normally where you find uh, the pistol I'm carrying. Hmm. I think. Got some other nothing. Shepard, get over here. Reeve, keep an eye out for that wall. I don't want it sneaking up on us. Make it quick, Rex. We're exposed. Move it. Move, Shepard. We're in. Go. What? Do we get to drive that and fight now? No way he survived that. And he was a pain in the ass, anyway. <laughs> now let's finish this. There's a Reaper waiting for us. Well, that way to not care what they did really like each other to be working with, but still. Yeah. Here's the great question. Can we beat the Treshmau against the Reaper? Suicide is not. We're curing the genophage no matter what it takes. Everything my people will ever be depends on it. Then I hope this idea you were talking about is a good one. It was hers, actually. 
Kalros. We summon her to the Reaper. Would that even I work? knew it. <laughs> Already discussed, Red. Just need to distract Reaper. Draw it from power while cure synthesized, released. What makes you so sure she'll come? Legends say she is the mother from which all other Thresher Maws spawn. This is as much her home as ours. If Tuchanka has a temper, Kalros is it. Nobody's ever faced her and survived. I've taken some risks in my time, but this seems crazy. And going head to head with Sovereign didn't? This is the only way to get to that tower and release the cure. There's no other choice. But how would we summon her? The tower was built in an arena devoted to Kalros's glory. The Salarians thought she would scare away intruders. Appears to have worked. There are two Maw Hammers there, the largest in existence. If you can activate them, Kalros will come. That should distract the Reaper. Meanwhile, laboratory nearby. We'll finish synthesizing cure. Let's make sure we all get out of here alive. We're gonna have one hell of a story to tell. Wait. That's how I put it. I want you to know that no matter what happens, you've been a champion to the Krogan people, a friend of Clan Erdnot, and a brother to me. To every Krogan born after this day, the name Shepard will mean hero. Now, let's show them why. Go! I've got this. I am Earth Not Rex, and this is my planet! See you on the other side. Stay alive, Shepard. We'll have cure ready. Or is it here that you get the pistol? Okay, I'm just fucking stupid. As usual. Shepard, okay. Original strain in storage. Preparing the cure now. Make it quick, Morton. They're all over us out here. At last, the Reaper. Man, Javik's excited. Yep. <laughs> That's probably why, yes. He's just literally sitting there like, peek me, bitch, I dare you. Okay, Shepard, I raised the hammers. I have to activate both of them. My advice is avoid the giant laser. No shit. I remember this part. Just keep moving. <laughs> I remember this part. Yeah, it's pretty memorable to, do, to try doing this. Garros will have something to say there. Oh yeah, watch out for the legs. That sounds like a rather difficult test. You know, in the middle of the combat. Yes, and they can and will step on you. Yeah. Just keep running, just keep running, just keep running. Oh! Ooh, man! That was close. Oh! Oh, he wanted a uh, piece of me. He got a piece of you. Yeah. 
Oh. 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 At least it's not an insta kill. Get back to the truck. I'll take care of the cure. versus giant worm. Raise your bets. Whoever wins, we lose. To know that there's one thing that can one be one a reaper. <laughs> yes, loaded for dispersal in two minutes. Procedure traumatic for but not lethal. Malin's research invaluable. She's okay. Headed to safety now. Her survival fortune will stabilize new government should Rex get any ideas. Good match. Promising future for Krogan. Yeah! Control room at top of Shroud Tower. Must take elevator up. You're going up there? Yes, manual access required. Have to counteract STG sabotage. Ensure cure dispersed properly. Morton, this whole thing is coming apart. There's gotta be another way. Remote bypass impossible. STG countermeasures in place. No time to adjust cure for temperature variants. No, no other option. Not coming back. Suggest you get clear. Explosion likely to be problematic. Morton, no! Shepard, please. Need to do this. My project, my work, my cure. My responsibility. Would have liked to run tests on the seashells. I'm sorry. I'm not. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. Uh, you will be missed.
long time ago. My father betrayed me in this place. His own son. He tried to kill me, so I had to kill him. Right over there. That's what the Genophage reduced us to. Animals. Would you change that today, Shepard? Now we'll fight for our children, not against them. It's just a pity Morden had to die. He wouldn't have had it any other way. And I'm sure wherever he is, he's putting in a good word for us. We'll name one of the kids after him. Maybe a girl. <laughs> you, Commander. We can thank you in person. Tell the Turians I'll be deploying troops to Palavan immediately. And when you're ready to kick the Reapers off Earth, you let me know. The Krogan are back in business. Goodbye, Commander. What will you do now? Spread the hope you've given us. Even now, there are clans gathering in the Kelphic Valley. I'll go speak to them and make sure this gift isn't squandered. Thank you for all that you've done. And know that Erdnot Bakara calls you a friend. Oh my. These people are loud out there. Hopefully you couldn't hear that. Nope. Hell of a thing you just pulled nope. off, Commander. Curing the Genophage. I never thought I'd see the day. Rex has agreed to help the Turians, Admiral. We should get their full support. I take it that leaves the Solarians out of the equation. The cost of their support was too high, sir. Well, I'll defer to your judgment on that, Commander. Let's hope we don't need them. Pack it. Out. Commander, Erdnot Rex has begun sending troops to Palavan. You kept your end of the bargain, and now I'll keep mine. The Turian hierarchy will stand with humanity against the Reapers. I'm glad we can help each other out. It's the only way we're going to defeat the Reapers. That much is certain. To that end, several dry dock ships are ready to help build the Crucible. Garrus will coordinate them. Yes, sir. And when the time comes to deploy it, the full measure of our fleet will be there for Earth. May the spirits watch over us all. I'll start managing Turian support right away, Shepard. You must be exhausted. More than dying, it can't be easy. I'll sleep when I'm dead. We both know you need a clear head to win a war. There's no room for mistakes here. You should catch some shut eye. I'll make sure Joker doesn't launch any suicide missions. <laughs> yeah. Anything happens, you let me know. Yeah, we could definitely use the rest of the. I mean, I, I mean, could use. I, 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 I could go for some more, but. <clears throat> yeah, I was referring to Shepard. I, I think he has some. I mean, to be fair, Shepard isn't me either. Yeah, that too, but like I think he has some slips since we escaped the Earth, pretty much. No, he has. He's he's like gotten a regular sleep schedule. It's just you know the game doesn't model it. Yes. If. Those subtitles though. <laughs> God, I hate this fucking dream sequence stuff. Survivor skill is one thing, but this room sequences are just awful. Like, not even in the sad part, they're just boring.
found a Delta Fowl, I guess. Either that or he, I don't know. It's over. Shepard, there's something you need to hear. All right. Is this a bad time? Thinking of some friends who aren't around thanks to this war. That's thanks to the Reapers, not you. Are you thinking about anyone in particular? Caden, back on Vermeer. He died buying us time to defeat Sovereign. Seeing what we're up against now, you might think his sacrifice was in vain. You know Caden would never think that. Yeah. That's one more reason I miss him. Didn't you have something for me? The Solarian Counselor has an urgent matter. Let me guess. He called the comm room? The Council must be taking the Crucible seriously. I'll see you downstairs. This is turning into a long episode. That's a word for it. I told you that's what we have. Commander. Yeah. There is something we should discuss if you are finished rewriting history. I made my decision, Counselor. There's not much anyone can do about it now. Yes. We're going to have billions more Krogan in the galaxy. It's a good thing you saved my life once, Shepard. Otherwise, well, I have concerns about humanity's representative, Counselor Udina. My agents have discovered that what he's using he this to move vast sums of money. For what purpose? We're not sure. If Adina's dirty, it's best we get to the bottom of it fast. Agreed. Come to the Citadel. We will review the evidence and discuss this in private. Valorn out. Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on VidCon. Well, we'll have that conversation in a little while. Defection of area. Yeah. Oh, goody. Krogan nice Battlemasters. Nice. But this has been a long episode, and we're probably going to have another long one after it. So, yeah. let's take a break. Good morning. So, yeah. Later. Bye.